this is different. This feels very different. Should I put the microphone a little, put it upwards? Yes, is that good? That's good. So apparently, Japanese researchers have developed a device that can play back your dreams in video sequence. <laughs> Japanese researchers have developed a device that can play back your dreams in video sequence. That's what we all need, don't we? On this planet, with all those shenanigans going on, apparently no food, third world countries, so much plastic is killing the sea life. But what we need is a device that can play back your dreams in video sequences. I've been dying for this kind of tech to be made. Dying. I've been begging the gods, the cosmos and the universe, all religions to help with this conundrum. What? What? Dude, I, I was, I was going to do a podcast and I thought, nah, I'll, I'll do both. I'll record the video through a podcast. You know, if they had said that they, they, well, they, at least, let me give them kudos. They took time to, to build a machine that, that sounds so profound. That maybe I should, I should just shut up and take my time and build a machine that allows me to go back in time or, or allows me to jump multiverses to a time where I don't exist. So I can live in that, that multiverse and make sure that multiverse is the multiverse that has intelligent people that aren't creating plastic and polyester and cigarettes and stuff that is killing the environment and GMO foods. You know, these, these dudes took time. This takes, takes time and effort to create such a beautiful, intricate device. So I should also find people like myself, like-minded people, or, or create a league of cosmic Jedis. And we call ourselves the League of the Medjais. The Cosmic Medjai. Yeah? That sounds cool. The League of Medjai. League of the Medjais where it's all different versions of myself that would come together to create a particular league. And then we just, we just create stuff that needs to be created, that should be created, that must be created. Tech that, that helps, that, that advances things and not depletes things. Tech that doesn't deplete nature or, or cause disorder, disharmony with nature, but that is in sync with nature. Then we distribute these, these tech that are foolproof, by the way. Copy-proof, plagiarized-proof, patent-proof, robbery-proof. Stealing resources proof, you know? And then we distribute it to places like Congo and all other multiverses where the same shenanigans has been repeated over and over again with, with uh, thievery and just destroying the planet. But hey, we made a device that can play back your dreams in video sequences. That's something. I mean, you can stand in front of a camera and record and make your jokes sound intelligent and think you're funny and intelligent and whatever. You haven't built any devices, Mr. Jedi. So stop thinking you're slick by recording this video. It's just, it's just pointless to me, man. It's pointless. There's so many, so many other things. Do we, do we, does, who on this planet needs a device that allows them to, to play th their dreams in video sequence? Because it's funny how some people would say dreams are just, you know, uh, Freud, Freud uh, and Sigmund Freud and, and Carl Jung said dreams, dreams are just, you know, your, your brain playing back what happened in the day in, in some, interesting way also your subconscious and whatnot whereas there are there are many other cultures that take dreams seriously from the colors to the animals in the dreams to having conversations with, with loved ones who have passed away in the dreams to getting warnings from loved ones and people will oh, you know it's just just make believe you you know you're you're, you're being superstitious <laughs> so may, maybe those people will benefit from this device but if you had said scientists or Japanese researchers or whoever are working on, 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 on helping people remember their dreams. Because now it feels like you're putting an importance on dreams, right? Or, or, or the flip side is you jump on this device, jack in like the matrix. You watch your dreams in playback, video sequence, and you can make a movie out of these. How about that? That sounds awesome. So maybe I'm just here, you know, talking shit, thinking I'm slick out this bitch. Because I have a microphone and a camera, so I feel I should record something and, and speak on it. The League of Medjai is not impressed with this, what I'm saying. So this is a future message from the League of Medjai that you're watching now, thinking you're just watching it because I made it in 2024. No, this is a future message coming from the future versions of me in the multiverse. Multi the multiverse, multiverses, multiverse versions of me letting you know this is some bullshit. This is some real major bullshit. Dude, there's so many things we need. Like this year, announced, before this month runs out, announced no more production of plastic across the globe. No more. Any factory producing plastic, stop it. Any factories producing polyester, stop it. 
any GMO nonsense, stop it. Why do we need a machine that plays back your dreams in video sequence? And what if I jack into the machine? I have a dream, I forget it, but it's there, it's saved into the, into the machine. Do I have ownership over, the, over the, 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 the footage? Do I have copyright over the, is it mine? Or do I have to pay you some money now to watch the video? You know, maybe I should read more into it. Or should I even bother? Why do we need this is what I'm saying. This is not a necessity, nor is it a need. There's nothing wrong with creating something you're able to create because you can create it, but out of, it must have taken some time to do that. Because on paper, it sounds awesome. I'm a gamer. So it's already sounding like the Animus machine from the Assassin's Creed movies, where you, uh, movie, movies, game, where you just jack into the system and you can relive, relive certain aspects of your ancestral lineage um, activities. Some parts, if not most, you can probably relive their life from birth, you know, into their death whilst you're jacked in. Again, on paper, that sounds awesome. But I'm more inclined to want to help people to be able to do that of their own volition, not needing a machine that they didn't create. I find I'm, I'm, yo, from these phones to the cameras and to these tech stuff where they're always like, uh, do you consent to cookies and do you consent to we take your location? Even all those things make me feel so uncomfortable. What, why do you always just collecting data for what? Then people say, oh, they're selling data. So when you hear all these things of people who are selling data, should give me a cut of this data you're selling. Can I get it at least, because it's my data, can I get an average? And I get half of, of that. It, it's my data you're selling. Let me get a little, little piece of that pie. And then they send it to this weird, unseen organization, hidden, shadow, moon, ninja, fast, whatever. It's alter dimension. You people worship money so much, it's hilarious. It's like you don't even enjoy the, the idea of creating and innovate, innovating anymore. It's just money, 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 money. Money that you created. Money is not even something that it feels like it's a... a, 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 a cosmic being or maybe this is a being that governs money and just it just needs to be worshipped so much it's it's it needs our intent our attention needs our worship it needs needs us to beg it and, and and need it and want it every time god so much to discuss man i'm back i'm definitely back new year's or not at least this 2024 and moving forward i am back been quiet on this podcasting for a while but I have returned the Council of the Medjai. Ah, Council of the Medjai or League of the Medjai. League of the Jedi. I don't know. We'll find a way to figure it out. I like the Medjai, though. It's obviously where I got the, the Jedi from, Medjai. Oh, is that, is that too late now to discuss where I got the, the Jedi from? You know, I'll do a little, you know, how I came about my name video. Yeah. But until then... No, I don't, I don't feel we need a dream machine, a machine that can play back your, again, your basic question, do I own? Can I, can, can I download that video, said video, onto my hard drive and delete it off your hard drive? What, what are you gaining from it? If, the, if there's no money involved, I don't have to pay you. I mean, if it's in a studio, surely you're paying rent for that space. Or if you bought the space, if you bought the land where your machine exists, how many machines out there? And then what's the criteria? It feels like inception, right? But I got to go somewhere to do it. And then if the machine becomes widespread, again, what's the... I mean, there's an article I read a while back that Steven Spielberg and Lucas were talking, saying that the future of movies is going to be dreams meaning they'll be projecting movies into your psyche, into your dreams, so that you have to watch on the screen anymore. You're going to be, you will be the main character in the movie, each of you. There are 10 of us watching a movie, and if it's a Chinese lady watching the movie next to me, she's the main character in the same movie we're both watching. I'm the main character in the same movie because I'm, what, I'm experiencing the movie as the main character myself, whereas the Chinese lady is experiencing the movie as her being the main character as well. I did not like that. Even on paper, ooh, sounds cool. No, no, I'm not in, as much as I love gaming, love movies, I love stories, I'm not in the mood to want to put myself in anyone else's machines where they dictate things I do not know. I don't understand how the diode works. I don't understand how the, the internet connection works. I don't understand how the Wi-Fi works. I don't understand how this machine runs or if it's on some coal tar or, or cobalt. I don't understand those things. So I'm not comfortable 
jack it into a device that I didn't build. I didn't partake in building. Maybe I should partake in building it. Maybe I should build my own. And there I feel more comfortable. And then I don't have to convince people to trust me until everyone's built their own dream machines or their own movie machines. And we're all, we're all self-sufficient. We don't need any other person to build something that we feel we don't really trust. It's such a weird thing. Out of so many things that can be built that you know people who aren't really skilled at imagination can just sit down and say, this is what we need and give you a basic rundown or, or, or a list of things that mankind collectively needs to remove off the planet that is not natural and then to improve on and bring into the planet or into, the, into this reality from the ideas realm and say, this is what we need and make sure that it is in harmony with nature. Again, maybe I'm just yapping because I have a mouth and a camera and a microphone. What do you feel? I've already spoken to a few people and some people are excited. Some people are like, nah, this is a no-go zone. Where does it end then? I, 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 I do see them selling other people's dreams as movies. I'm not kidding. Next thing, they probably upgrade it and say, you can, you can experience your wife's dreams. You can experience your son's dreams, your daughter's dreams. You can experience a stranger's dreams or nightmares. You know? And if you said, oh, it, it's to help people overcome fears and stress and, and fear of height and stuff like that, then I'd be like, you know, okay, I can, I can see, I can see, I can see what you're doing. A machine that plays back your dreams in video sequence. Again, it kind of sounds awesome. Well, why do we have that now when we got so much other things we can collectively come together and deal with? That, even, that shouldn't even have to be, that sh shouldn't have been made in the first place. You, no one can convince me that plastic was important, was needed. We needed plastic. We needed cigarettes. That's why we created it. We needed, the, collectively, the whole world needs GMO stuff. Collectively, the whole world needs polyester clothing. You have cotton, you have silk, you have wool. Why have you made these things that you are now realizing, apparently, it's causing issues with the respiratory system, it's causing issues with, with um, biodegradability, and it's not biodegrading properly like it's supposed to. So then how, how do you want people to trust you and trust this device when there's so much other things you've done or that, that is going on that shouldn't be going on. Ah, dude. Anyways, that's just uh, round one of this I'm Back podcast session in 2024. People keep asking me, are you coming back? I'm thinking I'm back. No, I'm not thinking I'm back. I'm sorry. I apologize. I know I'm back. I've returned finally. Let us begin, shall we? <laughs> I have been your one and only host, the Cosmic Jedi, signing out. And before I go completely, let me know, how do you feel about this device? For you, it's probably just one of those things where it's like, mm, I have no pull, no power. Why do I need to complain about it? There are other things to focus on that are more positive. True. Very true. Or maybe you're really excited. You're like, dude. I forget my dreams every day I wake up. Or maybe someone else is like, dude, I don't even remember dreams. I don't even think I dream. I don't think I dream at all. So a device that will let me watch my dreams in playback sequence mode? Hell yeah. What if you have to pay for it? How much are you willing to pay for your dreams? Any dream you have, how much are you willing to pay for your dreams? And then is there a time limit? Is there, is there like, oh, you, you're paying per minute or, or, or per, per, I don't know, hour or... I mean, if you're sleeping for eight hours straight and you're having multiple dreams in that eight, eight, eight hours, what, what are you paying for? Eight hours? Six hours sleep? Ten hours sleep? What if you slept for a very long time? Is, is this safe for children as well? Can children jack into this machine? Or is it adults only? Is it over 18? Is there any pros and cons to it? Any health, health issues to it? Yeah, there might be some of you out there who are like, yeah, dude, I struggle to remember my dreams, man. I can hardly me sit down and meditate and pay attention to try and remember. Even me. There's some dreams I have that are so awesome. And I've woken up thinking, dude, that was so awesome. I can't remember what happened. Sometimes I forget my dreams. Maybe once or twice. Not all the time. Just once or twice. And then during the day, it starts coming back to me in flashes. I remember colors, uh, some names, for example. Sometimes that's another thing that I find tricky to remember. Names or number sequences. 
And if I remember them when I wake up straight away, because I know I, I sometimes will get those particular things, I'll write it down. As someone who loves my dreams and loves the, the capability of being able to dream and the experiences I have in my dreams, I do not trust this device at all. And even if it was made by metalated people, African people, my people, I would still be like, yo, what's your intention? And then have, is there a, a safeguard, celestial, divine safeguard? Is this something that was approved celestially, meaning you were guided by divine minds, divine energies to produce this? Or is this sort of those things where you're just like, I'm a human being, I can think and create, so therefore I've done it. I don't care who makes it. It's, the question is, is this divine? And nothing, nothing new under the sun. So God, Ra, Allah is seeing everything. But if you, if you reached out and if you'd done some deep introspection meditation and have said, yo, we, we want to create this. Do we have your permission? And then God, Allah, Amun Ra is like, yes, you do. You have my permission. Produce it. And if that's a yes, then did you do the same thing with cigarettes and polyester and plastic and GMO shit? Yes? No? Who knows? Anyway, I'm Audi.